There are literally thousands of different substances used in the workplace. Cleaners, adhesives, paints, solvents, pesticides, inks, lubricants, and fuels are just some examples. And of course, they come in different forms. Powders, granules, solids, liquids, and gases. On top of this, there are other substances that are generated during normal workplace activities, including chemical byproducts, vapors, and dusts. A common example being fumes from welding. Of all these thousands of substances, some have been identified as safe, and when used or encountered under normal circumstances, pose no threat to human health. Some were previously seen as safe, but now have been identified as being potentially harmful, a well-known example being asbestos. Some have been classified as hazardous to human health and pose a real threat if not used and handled correctly. And some have yet to be adequately studied to determine whether or not they pose a threat. So the questions are obvious. How can these substances actually harm us? What are the common problems associated with hazardous substances? And what should be done to minimize potential exposures to hazardous substances? The starting point in dealing with hazardous substances is to understand in what circumstances they can cause you harm. Generally, a hazardous substance will not cause you any harm unless you have direct contact with it and only then when it is in a form where it can either enter your body or affect your face or skin. In the workplace, the majority of hazardous substance exposures occur when people breathe in contaminated air. Direct contact is also common, particularly with the hands, and usually resulting from poor hygiene practices, ingestion of small amounts of hazardous substances can occur. Sharps injuries are the other way people can be directly exposed to hazardous substances.